Hello, this is Sharif Abu Zaid from Abu Zaid Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can capture emails of your WordPress website visitors and even how you can send them weekly emails, and all of this is for free. And if you stay at, to the end, I will give you a bonus tip that will help you capture email addresses just like that. Okay, so, so now we are talking about two processes. The first one is that how you capture emails, then how you can send them weekly emails. So let's go uh, with the first step first. To do this, I mean, to capture emails, we will need to install a form plugin called Fluent Forms. Uh, let me show you how you can install the plugin by simply going to the plugins and click Add New, or, or even you can click Add New here, and you search for Fluent Forms. And this is the plugin that we are looking for. As you can see, it has been installed in more than 300,000 websites, so this is one of the most powerful plugins, as I mentioned. So to install it, just simply click Install Now, and then you need to activate the plugin to be able to use it. So let's click Activate. Now the plugin has been activated. As you can see, in the sidebar, there is a new item called Fluent Forms. This is where we will be adding all of our forms. To add a new form or to create a new one, you just click New Form. And here you will see a variety of uh, or different types of templates, but I would like to create a new blank form for this video. So I will just click the plus button and click Create Form. So this is how Fluent Forms work. And to the right hand side of the screen, you will find different fields that you can drag and drop in this canvas. So you can uh, create different varieties of forms. For this uh, tutorial, we need just the email address field and only the name address. So we like I like to have them, you know, in one row where the name is beside the email address. To do this, you simply go to the containers just at the bottom and you drag and drop a two column container here. And then we go back to general, general fields and we drag and drop the name field here. And then we drag and drop the email address here. Okay. Maybe this doesn't look so much so beautiful. So maybe we need, you know, uh, remove the last name because as I mean, I mean to encourage people or to motivate people to uh, complete your forms, you need to ask them for um, as little as information as you can. So we don't need their last name. So uncheck the last name. This is that, So now we can just ask them for the first name. And maybe, you know, we drag, I mean, to increase the size of the email address here. Okay, that's fine. So this is the if it is name, the email address. Now for the uh, button, you can just leave it like this, but I like to uh, take what's called a custom submit button because it gives me more capabilities to style the button. So I can just, you know, go to again to input fields and let's go to advanced fields. You will find it here. It is the custom submit button. You just drag and drop it here. This may look the same, but now, I mean, now we can make it, you know, uh, more centered. We can make it like full width. Okay, so um, let's suppose that we need someone to fill in the form to um, receive our e our ebook, so we can change this submit button to something that makes sense. Let me change it now. So this is a message that at the at, with with the button to motivate people to click the button. So now almost we click save form. So almost is done. I mean everything is done now. The form is ready to be used inside our website pages. I'll be using it to inside the uh, posts to collect emails. So let me show you how you can add this form inside the post. Let's go to the one of our blog posts. Let's go to this one. Let's click, uh, let's open it in a new tab and click edit post. Okay, maybe we need to, you know, add the, uh, the, uh, the form at, to the bottom of this post. So you simply go to the bottom and you click enter and then click this plus button and search for fluent forms. And this is the widget. Here you will be asked to choose which form you like to choose. That's, this is the first one. I will show you again how you can change the form name. Let's choose this one and click update. And let's view the form now. Let's go to the bottom. And here is our form. Maybe I have noticed that we need to style it a bit. I mean, to add some like some title and maybe a background. Let me show you how, how you can do this, uh, how you can add a title inside the form itself. Let's go back again to the form. Uh, by the way, let me show you how you can change the form name. You just click this, I mean, the edit button here, and let's make it like ebook form and rename here. 
So let's try to add a um, subtitle or a title above it. You can easily do this by going again to general fields and you take the custom HTML field and add it here. And let me add some content here. So this is some sort of a title for the form. Let's click save form again. And let's view it here. So this is the form. If you like to add some sort of a background, you need to use a container or a column inside the inside the, the column, the, the post itself. Let me show you how you can do this. I'm using the cadence blocks, uh, uh, plugin to add like um, roll out or something like this and another some sort of a form or info boxes. So maybe we need just to insert this inside a rollout and um, you know change the background. Let me show you how you can do this. Again, you just click this, this plus button or this one and you, you will find the roll out here under the cadence block. So this is a plugin, a powerful plugin that will help you design the pages. You just install it for free and maybe you can just drag and drop it here and we make it one column. And you know, just take it here and add it to the row and let's change the background by going to the style and change the background to be like this. Let's click update and now let's see the form again. We will need to change, you know, with the padding to add some space here. So we'll go back again to the, this. And under advanced, let's make the padding a 30 pixel and let's click update and see the form now. So this looks much easier now or like much uh, more beautiful. So if you like to you know to add this um, block or row in any place at the post, you just, you know, copy all or duplicate all the, um, the roll out. And again, maybe you just, let's go here and you take it up to any place or even just drag and take it up here. Maybe let's add it here and you click update and now the form will um, appear here. So this is how easily you can add the form. Now we need to connect this form to an email marketing platform where we can send them email addresses every single week. You can connect this free plugin. Uh, Fluid Forms enables you to connect the plugin to, to the form to um, uh, Mailchimp and Fluent CRM for free. But if you like to connect it to MailerLite or ConvertKit or Active Campaign, you have to pay for the pro version. But Fluent CRM, which is a WordPress, another WordPress plugin, enables you to send weekly emails for free to your email list. So let me show you how you can do this, how you connect Fluent Forms to Fluent CRM, and then how you can just send them weekly emails without paying any charge. So we need to install the Fluent Form plugin or the Fluent CRM, which is developed by the same company by going to plugins and click add new. And let's search for Fluent CRM. And this is the plugin we're looking for. So let's just click install now and again activate the plugin. And let's go to Fluent CRM. This is a new item called Fluent CRM. So let's go to the list. I mean, the dashboard. This is a very, a really powerful plugin, guys. I mean, it enables you to do a variety of things, even for the free version. So let's, for, for the every email marketing platform, whether it is MailChimp, MailerLite, ConvertKit, Active Campaign, you need to add, create at least one list. So let's create one list here by going to contacts and create list. So this is where your, all of your contacts will be listed in one list. And to create a list, just click create list and let's name this leads. Leads and click create. And now let's go back again to Fluent Forms, Fluent Forms to connect both of them together. So if someone uh, completes the form inside the post, it, they will be added to this list. So let's go again to the ebook form and under settings, you'll find the integrations tab. You go here and add a new integration. You just click Fluent, CR, Fluent CRM and here you need to add, you know, which, I mean, if someone completes the form, which list they should go to, you just click and choose leads and let's add the email address, connect the email address of the field to this email address inside Fluent CRM integration and click save feed. Now let's try to, you know, add someone using the form and see what happens. So let's refresh the page again. And let me try to add one, maybe uh, my name and edit an email address and fill the form. Now let's go back again to Fluent CRM and see if this contact has been added. As you can see, there is a progress bar here. And if you go to the contacts, you'll find a new contact has been added and it is added to the email address to the list of the leads. So this is how easily you can add 
a flu and uh, an opt-in form to capture the your website visitors um, email addresses and this is how you can connect it to fluent crm so now let me show you how you can send emails with the emails to these leads you simply to do this you go to the campaigns and uh, sub item and you click you know create a new campaign and you name it maybe let's let me give this a name and click create campaign and here i can add my email i mean the email that i need to send to this uh, to this contact so let me just complete or add some content to here so this is the content that i want to add if you like to know to add their first name hi and add for the first name automatically you just after hi you click this icon and you choose the first name and you add it here so if someone i mean if this they, they signed up with someone let's say with a name like sharif so they say the email would say uh, hi sharif if you like you know to add a um, a link to this you just highlight part of where you want to add the link and here you just add the link here and you just save it if you like to add an image um or you just click the plus button and look for images image and add the image here if you like to could take it from the media library add it to the email address and that's it i mean if you even you can add a button here just click enter and under the plus button let's search for button this is a button you just click click here and maybe you want to you know make it to the center let me center and you just you know can style it as whatever you want and then let's click continue and here let's you know add a subject or a subject to this email address and click next and here you choose which um, list I mean I will just need to this to send this to the um, leads list and you click continue so this is the email address you can just you know send it now or you can go I mean just send it now or you can even schedule it to be sent at a certain time at a certain uh, day of the week so now let me show you how you can you know install all these um, all this form just like that across all of your website blog posts to do this you need to be using the cadence theme and the cadence theme pro version cadence is one of the most powerful themes that i like to use for my websites and my clients websites and this is a free theme but you to add more capabilities and to uh, you know spread the optimal form across all of your posts with just one move you need to have the um the pro version if you are not using cadence right now maybe you just go to uh, themes let me go to themes under appearance and you search for it or click add new and you'll find it here uh, one of the most popular themes for cadence let me show you the capabilities of the cadence pro version so this is the uh, the website of the cadence theme i mean buying the pro version enables you to have like access to uh, premium templates and even it will give you access to their uh, premium integrations to their to their form which you, you can use just the way we have used fluent forms to connect it with your or to collect addresses of your website visitors so uh, let me show you my account page i have already uh, put or um, put this cadence pro i mean i have been using cadence for more than like five years now so it is really really uh, worth it to buy it let me show you the pricing page so this is their pricing page if you like to buy the cadence theme um, uh, only you'll, you'll just pay 59 at this um, time of the recording maybe they will ra raise the prices sometime in the future because they keep adding new features to the theme if you like to buy it i will leave a link uh, below this video so let me install the premium plugin and show you what you can do and just you know add or capture the email addresses just like this so to add the premium plugin we just need to go to again to plugins and click add new and let's now upload the plugin because you have i have already downloaded it from my account page and let me choose it and we click install now and let's activate the plugin and now once this plugin has been activated and you go to appearance you will find the cadence um uh, sub item here make sure that you activate what's called the hook the hook the elements make sure it is activated this is now activated and activated i have just activated again and now let's create an element so elements inside cadence means that you once you create something you can spread it across all of your or, or at certain places of your website let me click a new a new add or add a new element i click add new and this will be a content section let's call it 
um, optimum form. And here you can just, you know, add a new button, a new, a new row, and again, make it like this and change the style to be, the background style to be like this. And let's again search for the fluent forms or add it from here, fluent forms and add it here and choose the ebook let me choose the ebook form and let's style the block or the bro to be wide width and also for the let's make it like this and click publish and now under the element settings here you can change where do you want to place it. i like to add this for um you know, just after the inner title, not the inner title, after the inner entry content. Okay, we, this is the place and of, um, at which pay, at which places, which items inside the WordPress website. I like to add it to all posts and this should be visible to all users. Let's click update and now let's go to any of our um, blog posts. Let's go to the blog page again and maybe, you know, let's open this one and let's go to the bottom. And here is the contact form. I mean, this contact form has been, or this opt-in form has been added to the bottom of the, the blog post across all the blog posts. So you don't have to you now copy and create the um, the form um, every time you create a new post. So you just do it or add the opt-in form just like that across all of your blog posts. Let me open another post for you to see it. You know, let's open this one. And if you go to the bottom, we will find also again the same opt-in form uh, added automatically to all of the posts. So uh, this is how you can um, use a free way to capture the email addresses of your WordPress website visitors. And this is another way uh, of how you can send them weekly emails. And the bonus tip will help you just install or uh, spread the opt-in form just like that across all of your website blog posts or even pages so hopefully you find this um, video useful if you liked it please uh, give me a like to the video and subscribe to the channel because i create similar videos um, in my channel every single week thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye for now